parchment was supposed to be. I will tell is a tale I told the Majesties that mermaids just pass. The tale is called The Mermaid's Tear. Long, long time ago, my gypsy grandfather told me a story of a mermaid in a, town, in a land called Tamandan Sea, the title by the lake. So I went and visited. Never saw the mermaid. I heard the tales that mermaids were evil creatures who dragged sailors to their deaths for whatever reason. Who knows what a mermaid might like to do. But I found in this land of Tamandan Sea mermaids, kind and sweet, Voices is lovely, not meant to sing, not meant to sink sailors to their depths, but raise them to their glories and raise kings and barons and such and sing their praises. One day, a mighty horde decided to come. Strange dragons on their flags coming against the land of Chamondan Sea. And the kings, future kings and uh, royals of Norshia, before Norshia was even made, came to its aid and saved the, the lands of Tamandan Sea, the tower by the lake. This, this young man who had saved this particular mermaid, the last one left in the lake, when the horde had come and decimated all mm -hmm. of them, his, young, his name was Olander, a young man, ancestor to our current, current majesty. And it was deemed one day that should any of his lineage rise again to take back the lands and should come back to the land of the Sea, that a gift would be granted to him, a gift of love, a gift of strength. So, all the years passed and the mermaid lay sleeping on the bottom of the lake. And as many kings came and went, Many great kings in North Shield because we produce nothing but the best. Finally, Olanders came, and I was at that crown tourney that day, and not, not a scared man walked onto that field. The man who walked away king that day would walk away, not by, by the might of his arm, but by the might of his heart. Olander, I remember watching him go through the battles that day. His sword was swift, and his, and, his, and his judgment, you know, not to be called into question. For at the end of the day, in the last battle with Wagner, as they fought, and the slobber knocker came <laughs> to a final end, there stood our mighty king, Olander. And the, my, grand, my great grandfather used to say there's a difference between life and death and that is one single breath and in that day with his final single breath he, he raised his arm and he became king undefeated to prove his not only not to pro only prove his love to Norsha but to prove his love to our fair queen Lush. as he came back to the Shire of Taman and see to, to look over his lands and I went before the lake and called upon the mermaid and she rose of the water and placed in my hand the mermaid's tear. Seems a simple small thing when you looked at it, but it represented what to me a true king is. There's might in a tear. A tear can bring about joy. A tear can bring about sadness. A tear can bring about many things. A tear can do, you know, a tear's possibilities are endless. But this mermaid's tear is a proof of a king's heart for his kingdom and his people and his love, who he won for. Placed in his hands and once again placed on the neck of a queen, the mermaid's tear is a representation of king's who have passed and who have gone on to greatness to leave lands. Kings who are no longer with us, you know, serving our lands and stuff, but nonetheless great because North Shield is great. When our fighters and our kings walk on the field, men quake in fear. For whether we win or lose, 
they know they have faced a North Shield. Men of honor, men of heart, men that show that a tear can be as strong as a sword. Thank you.